gladiatori, gladiatori. Ogni giorno una sfida che puoi vincere con la forza del sole che ti scalderà senza guardare indietro, senza cadere mai. Gladiatori, la forza e il coraggio. Gladiatori, allungo il tuo viaggio. Gladiatori, il cuore e l'astuzia. Gladiatori, la luce di cui Marina's jealousy and Dora's deceit almost proved disastrous for the warriors of the sun. Ali gives the longbow of the goddess Artemis to Marina competing in the hunting of the stag, which foils Canidia's plans. We are nearly halfway through the tournament season. At this point, the Jackals and the Warriors of the Sun appear to be tied. The competitors have left Ephesus, where they recently held a hunting competition. And who won this hunting competition? Well, my princess, it was actually a little girl. She was one of the Warriors of the Sun. <sighs> If my memory serves me correctly, the next test will be a true gladiatorial combat. I hope this little girl knows how to use a sword. In such hand-to-hand -hand combat, only the truly strong will survive. Where will they be having the next series of contests? They will be held near the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, along the processional way. This will be the fifth challenge. The rules of this contest will be very simple. Each squadron will be able to line up all of its members. Any warrior that falls to the ground for any reason at all will be eliminated. The combat will continue until only one gladiator is left standing. The ultimate victor! Out of my hey, way! <sighs> it's a shame the city planners didn't account for a woman of your size, Tosca. Mm. Oh! Here we are. I see that Antonius has already announced the rules. We'll still have time to defeat you. Maybe you peasants had some difficulty understanding all of the rules. Perhaps. Huh? Oh. The event is hand-to-hand -hand combat with no holds barred. You won't be able to play any of your little tricks this time. <gasps> Not a single one of you will escape combat alive. <sighs> We're in big trouble this time. Big trouble. He's right. In the chaos of tomorrow's combat, almost anything could happen out there, and probably will. What are we supposed to do? We all must stay extremely vigilant and fight to the best of our ability. Marina, I don't want you fighting with us this time. The risk is too great. What a shame. You won't be able to wear your pretty armor. Really, want to bet? You have to let me fight. The more of us fighting, the better our chances to win. Huh? Am I right? Don't even joke about that. Drudo's right, Marcus. You are much too little to fight with us. But I'd like to have you fight with us this time, Akasar. The 
excuse me. Where can I find the market? It's just down the street. Thanks. Not a very nice neighborhood. Look over there. Yeah. Hey! Stop! Me. What did I Go tell you? Here. I think we should go and follow him. Are you silvers for punching you in the face? Is this some kind of joke? No joke, my friend. Just hard enough for a black eye. You know what I mean? So do you want three silvers or not? Oh. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> I was ambushed. Catilius men, I think. You know, I'll just bet you're right. There were dozens of them. Maybe even 20. <sighs> maybe even 30. Maybe 40. Huh? Well, you can't fight in this condition. You must be joking. I have to fight. You folks need me. What are you doing? You're hurt. Of all the luck, this is all my fault. I should never have gone out by myself. Don't worry about it, my friend. We'll do all right with me, the twins Tosca and Pilati. Take care. We're going to have to make do with just the five of us. That's silly. Let me fight too. I know how to fight with a sword, and I'm really brave. I'm not even sure you'd be able to lift up a sword. But I can use a saber. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's all in the lunch. <laughs> Delicious. You call that a saber? That's not really a sword. It looks like a skewer. You can call it whatever you want, my friend. It's a lethal weapon. You won't be fighting, period. Your life is much too important to be placed in that kind of danger. Are we clear? Now let's get some sleep. Tomorrow we face our greatest challenge. Demetria, Marcus, where are you? I'm right here, Father. You're just having a bad dream. That may be so, but my dreams are all that I have left to me now. No, you mustn't talk like that. I rest much easier when I know you are by my side. Then don't worry. Your daughter will remain by your side every day and every night. If the Emperor would be so kind, I'd like to be dismissed from service today. There's a particular herb I need to gather for your medicine. Those herbs grow in the Forbidden Garden. That garden is a cursed place. Nobody would dare to set foot in it. Ugh. I mean nobody. Were there really 20 of them? I didn't have time to count them, but there were a lot. What villains! I wish I could fight them so I could make them pay! You heard, Drudo. You're not allowed. I know, but the situation is serious. We need everyone to fight if we're gonna win. I can't stand being here while the others risk their lives for me. It's cowardly. Ugh, I'm thirsty. Why don't you be a good lad and get me a drink? Okay, I'll be right back. Ugh. <sighs> That's quite a little story you've concocted, pirate. <laughs> For three silvers, that drunk did a pretty good job. What? What do you mean? I want nothing from you. This stupid tournament isn't any of my concern. I have my own problems. I knew I'd be able to count on you, Ali. You and I are cut from the same cloth. You're mistaken. The only reason I'm here is to find my mother. Everything I do is for her. Somehow you've convinced the prince you're his friend. Marcus thinks you're some kind of hero, but all you are is a coward. <sighs> you there, Domitia? <gasps> yes, Father. It's cold in here. Be a dear and open the curtains. Of course. Just the trees.
What a big waste of time. Practicing for their stupid fight. They'd be better off helping me with my next test. I don't know how to fire a longbow. That could be a problem. I could teach you. You? Why? Why should you want to help me? <sighs> hmm. Let's just call it personal satisfaction. All right, join me. But it might be dangerous. I'm not afraid. Ali, wait for me! Huh? What do you want? Where are you two going? We are going to the famous floating gardens. I think you mean the hanging gardens? Yeah, sure, whatever they're called. I can help you, Unlike Ali. Unlike a certain spoiled princess, I know how to fire the magic longbow. Do you mean the longbow that I helped Ali get while you were off sulking in the treetops? Enough! What do you want, Dora? Hmm. Can I come with you? Not you too. This isn't some kind of picnic, you know. It's a very dangerous mission. If she can tag along, I don't see why I can't come along. Plus, I know the history of the garden. I could prove very useful. Oh, all right. This is incredible. If I were a goddess, I'd want to live right here. Too bad you're only a beggar. What did you just say? Stop it. Are you two here to help me or not? What can you actually tell me about this place? The garden was constructed by Nebuchadnezzar II. In those days, Babylon was the center of the world. He was beautiful, intelligent, and wise. He had everything he desired, except a wife. There was one queen who wished to marry him at all costs, but she was hideous and unpleasant. And while running away from this harpy, he met the most beautiful girl in the whole world. Her name was Semiramide, and they married and lived in his palace. But although they were very much in love, she was sad because she missed the beautiful gardens of her home. And so, Nebuchadnezzar built for her the most beautiful gardens the world had ever seen. That was a great story, but whatever happened to the crazy harpy? The harpy? Uh, well, uh... Ah! In the end, the queen got her revenge. Ah! Very interesting, but I still don't understand what that has to do with me. But I do! <laughs> Bottom of the pond? Algae? No, uh, algae doesn't look. move like that. <laughs> They're just snakes. Please, throw those horrible things back in the water immediately. Don't tell me you're afraid of snakes, especially those little ones. They can't possibly hurt you. When I was a little girl, a snake crawled into my bed and tried to strangle me. Uh. We still have to cross this stream. I can't do it. Just thinking about snakes terrifies me. Then I guess you'll have to go back to camp. I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, at least we managed to be able to get rid of that spoiled princess. Ah, now I can concentrate on these two. <laughs>
Shoo! Go! That's my father's medicine. If the Emperor were here, he would be proud of you. He would be proud of your courage, of your strength. He would be proud of the dedication with which you have faced these tests, and of the love that you have demonstrated for Rome by placing your lives in the peril by entering this tournament. But before I start today's competition, the judges will need to record the names of the entrants of each team. <coughs> This will be a piece of cake. Give me my lance. I will be the last man standing. At the sound of the horns, the battle will begin. Anyone that falls in the heat of combat will be eliminated. Pray to your gods and give your glory to Rome! Show them no mercy. What exactly am I supposed to do here? What does it matter? Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? I just wish I knew what the test was. You're about to find out, young chosen one. You're about to find out! <laughs> so far, you have been able to resist your anger, your greed, your pride and lust. But I assure you, you shall not overcome your hunger. In fact, you'll wish you were dead! I don't like that at all. Come on, Mommy, let's get going. Time's wasting, and I want to figure out what kind of test this is supposed to be. How are we going to learn anything wasting our time in this paradise? Come on, let's run through those beautiful flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this marvelous? <laughs> I'm kind of tired out, are you? A little. Why don't we take a short nap? <sighs> Sounds like a good idea. It sure is beautiful here. That's just splendid. Let yourself relax and surrender. The Lady of Ascal is coming to see you. She flies without sorrow or pity. She flies beyond the river of death. And so, I see now the effect of your deadly poison. Don't worry, Father. When Marcus finally returns, you will be alive to greet him. <laughs> Ali, look at that butterfly. I think he likes me. Very 
good. I can't feel my arm at all. You can't go to sleep now, Marina. We have to get out of this place. <sighs> Rest in peace, little girl. When you and the Chosen One are dead, nobody will stand in my way. Nothing will stop the rise of the forces of darkness! <laughs> Be afraid. <laughs> we must all stand strong. They only fight for the glory of winning. We are fighting to preserve the peace. We are fighting for the freedom of everyone in the world. That is why we shall win. Hmm. Long live the warriors of the sun! So you are the Warriors of the Sun? Yes, I'm their captain. Very well, then. Do I see that you have six entrants? What's the matter? Didn't you learn to count? There's five of us. Of course. Five plus that boy there. Hmm? Marcus, why are you here? Get out of the arena immediately! I'm afraid that's impossible. He's already been entered into the contest, and the combat is just about to begin. He's fighting for you now. But he's only a child! Wait! I thought I told you to stay away from the arena! But I... huh? Ci fan paura. 